Okay, we're going to start and we're going to have a lesson on translations. Uh, let's get down a few facts, a few notes that you want to make sure you understand. The first thing you want to understand is that the original points create the pre-image. Okay, and we use these letters to label the points. It's just regular letters. For example, A45 means point A. It's located at 4-5 on the graph. All right? Once the point is named, I'm sorry, once the point is moved to its new position by a translation, and we even did today um, uh, dilations, okay? But once it's moved, and we'll do more later, it is called the pr a prime point when it's moved. As it, uh, and it is labeled A with a little line or a dash there, and we read it, read it as A prime. This new figure is called the image. So you start with a pre-image, and when you draw the translation, the actual translation is called the image. Okay, translations involve moves that are either right to left, left to right, up or down, or a combination of those. Okay, if you have any questions about any of this, just go ahead and write them in your notes. We'll talk about it tomorrow. And just you should do that with every video. But um, if you have any questions with this one, have it on the side, and we'll answer it tomorrow. All right. So, <clears throat> we'll start with one example. If we're going to create a pre-image of these points, okay, so here's this a pre-image, it's what you do first. Go ahead and write these points down, and, uh, and, and then we're going to move each point eight units to the right. So that's what all this work is. But for right now, go ahead and just copy down the purple points and graph it on a graph like I did here. Here's my pre-image right here. A, negative 3, 2, negative 3, 6, and then C is negative 7, 2. So go ahead and graph those. And then we're going to move each point eight units to the right. If I move them to the right, it's further over on the positive. So you're going to go ahead and add 8 to the one that moves across. Well, the number that moves across is your x value. Because remember, your y is up or down. So we're just going to add 8 to every x value in here. So it's going to be negative 3 plus 8 is 5. Negative 3 plus 8 again is 5. And negative 7 plus 8 is 1. And then you simply leave the y values the same. The 2 stays there, the 6, and then the 2. Okay? Then you graph it and you label it with A prime, B prime, C prime. All right, so it's going to look something like mine. All right, once you do that, then I want you to ask, answer some questions here. Did the shape or the size change of our translation? The answer is no, it did not. All right. Now, what happened to the X value in each ordered pair? What did we do to each X value? We added 8. All right. Why was the Y not changed? Well, because we didn't move. We only moved across, only moved it only moved to the right. Okay, we only moved it across. You could say or to the right or to the left if that was the case, but, but that's right. Now, what type of move would affect the Y? Well, moving up or down. Moving up or down, because the Y axis is the vertical axis, and that's the up or down part. Okay? All right, let's talk about some other things. All right, supposing for the next example we have, I give you the graph of... Of two, of two shapes, okay? And we're going to, you're supposed to write the coordinates for the pre-image and the image. And so we have to first decide which one's a pre-image. How do you decide which one's a pre-image? Well, whichever one doesn't have the prime. Remember, the pre-image is the one with just the letters, just the capital letters. So we're going to go ahead and label these letters. A looks like, and it might not be perfect here, but it's basically A is negative 7 up 7. Is that right? Negative 7 up 7. B is negative 1 7. C is negative 7 up 4, and D is negative 1 up 4. Okay, that's my, that's my pre-image. Okay, then it says, okay, then I don't, it doesn't tell me what it did, it just shows a picture of it. So now I've got to figure out what did I travel, what did I do to get from A to A prime. I went down 7 just to get to the x-axis, so I must have gone down 1 more, so I must have gone down 8. Well, going down 8 would be minusing 8 for the x value, right? And then, I guess I really don't have to do that. I could just fill it in. But let's just go ahead and go through with this. And then, and I kept it in the same, the Y, not the X value, I mean, sorry, the Y value. Ah, the Y value minus 8, subtracted 8. The X value didn't change. It kept it negative 7. So my A prime is negative 7, down negative, over negative 7, down negative 1. Okay? My B prime is I went over negative 1, same X value, but I went down to negative 1. All right? My C value, my C prime value, I went over negative 7, and then I went down negative 4. And similarly with my D, I went over negative 1, negative 1, and I went down to negative 4. All right? 
So let's answer some questions with this one. Okay, how did you determine which was the pre-image and the image? Well, I used, uh, you could look at, like, I would just go ahead and say A, B, C, and D are just plain, and the image is A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. So basically, you just looked at it and saw, well, the ones without the prime are your pre-image, the ones with the prime, with the dashes, are your image. Okay, what happened to the Y value? You subtracted 8 from the each Y value. You subtracted 8. That. So that is an 8, minus 8. There you go. Okay, I guess I can just erase it. All right? So you subtracted 8 from each y value. And you see that 7 minus 8, 7 minus 8, add the opposite. Unlike sign, subtract this time. It's negative 1. You can do that for each of them. Each of them. Okay, so here's some facts. If you move up or down, what's going to change? The y value changes. If you go up, you will add the number to the original value, y value. If you go down, you will subtract the number to the original y value. All right. Let's, now, let's, if there's a y fact, there's going to be an x fact, right? So if you move, the, move it to the right or left, what value changes? The x value changes. If you go to the right, you will add, because you're going further up the number line. If you go to the left, you will subtract. Okay, and now we're just going to do a couple quick examples, and then that'll be it. All right, so number three. Let's graph and label. If we translate three units... Okay, the graph and label these points, which I didn't graph because it was just, it's, um, it would probably be inaccurate anyway, so I want you to go ahead and graph it on your paper. But graph and label, then translate it three units to the left and two units up. Then you li label and list your new primes. Okay, so we're just going to do the primes, do the new primes, and then maybe we'll, we'll graph it. We'll see. All right, so if M is 5, 8, I'm moving it to the left, which would be your X value. So you might just want to say X, and if it's to the left, it's going to be X minus 3. All right, so here's where that comes in. Describe what happened to each part of the ordered pairs. Well, for each x, I had to take away 3 because I'm going 3 units to the left. And for the going up or down, that's my y. I'm going up, so I'm going to add 2 because I'm going up 2 units. So if we do this, we're going to do 5 minus 3 is 2, and 8 plus 2 is 10. If we do a, a prime is going to be 0 minus 3 is negative 3. 6 plus 2 is 8. P prime well, negative 3 minus 3, if you have to write it out, it's okay. Negative 3 minus 3, okay, add the opposite. Like signs add, like signs add, add and keep the sign. And then negative 2 plus 2 is simply 0. So if you were to sketch this and graph it, basically you'd, you'd have like 5, 8, which would probably be way off here, but I'll just try. A is 0, 6, it's going to be somewhere around right here. Uh, probably be a little bit closer to the M. That's your A, okay. And then your... P is negative 3, negative 2, which is way down here. So that's your, like, a little triangle you have, okay? And then you're basically going to move it to the left 3 and up 2. So you should get something around in here. Let's see if we do. We have, I'll do it a different color. We have M prime is negative, is 2, 10. So it's up over 2, up 10. Okay, so it looks like that's my M prime. And then I have my A prime is negative 3, up 8. So it's up a little bit. That's A prime. Your P prime is negative 6, up 0. It's about P prime. So, yeah, it did kind of, it looks like it shifted my little, little you see, went up a little bit and then over, over a little bit. All right? When you have graph paper, it'll come out real accurately. All right, last one. Give the new prime points without graphing. Translate 5 units to the right and 3 units down. Okay, we have to always think that through. What does that mean? 5 units to the right. The right or left is your X. To, so to the right will be x plus 5. Matter of fact, you could even do an ordered pair like how I did here. Just go x plus 5, and then your y is going to be 3 units down, so it'll be y minus 3. So if you do that to each of these here, you'll get your right prime number. So x is 5. 5 plus 5 is 0 for a prime. Negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. Two, the next one, 2 plus 5 is 7. 6 minus 3 is 3. Okay, that's a 7. 0 plus 5 is 5. And negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6. And if you plot that, you'll see that it moved over 5 to the right 5 and 3 units down. We'll practice and practice more in class. Okay.